Hello, my name is Erin McKnight, and I am a freshman at the University of Delaware, currently majoring in chemical engineering. I signed up for Black History on stage because I want to connect with my history and meet other like-minded individuals. One of the driving forces behind this project I did is concerning Black individuals. Black men and women like myself have all been faced with struggle on an economical and social level, from their peers, from social and federal institutions, and just honestly sometimes existing itself. And rather than the scorn and derision being treated with horror shock and a desire for change by all who witness it and all those experience it, it has now been gazed upon with a sense of resignment and expectation. Almost all black individuals have faced some sort of discrimination and that is not a shocking statistic anymore. It is in the news, it is present everywhere, that this is normal. Even though things have improved as the decades have gone on, there is always a sense of fairness. Moreover, it is partially celebrated and normalized that Black people have to try that much harder than their counterparts to reach the same ending. It is technically the same path we are all following, but one is riddled with countless obstacles. This level of treatment can be conflated with the way mythology is retold so often that the disturbing facets or silver verbatim is treated with dismissal. This leads me to focus on the narration, on the focus of this narration, Ronald McNair, the man of the hour, someone who is obscure yet phenomenal. You know, you may know Ronald McNair as the second African-American astronaut, but there is more to him. As I stated previously, a lot of the struggle that Black people have gone to can be conflated with mythology. And one story that popped in my head as I looked into the research on Ronald McNair is the story of Pandora's box. In Greek mythology, the titular character is warmed away warned away from opening a box as it holds sickness, death, and other unspecified evils, but, is ultimately, but Pandora is ultimately unable to resist temptation and peeks inside. She attempts to close it back, but it is too late. This is comparable to how Black individuals are told to stay away from areas such as academia, their workforce, or even certain places in the world, for instance, sundown towns, where they're not welcome to avoid conflict or harshness. But these men and women ultimately paved the way just as Pandora does, because despite Pandora releasing the evil, she also released hope into the world. An example from my person on this is when McNair got accepted into MIT, he was originally wary of entering a, Caca a Caucasian dominated space as a black man in the 70s, especially one coming from an HBCU, which is a very different environment, HBCU indicating historically black college while MIT was a PWI, which is a predominantly white institution, but he persisted and earned his doctorate. But even as we can compare McNair to Icarus, Pandora's box, countless other mythologies where people have struggled and persisted, there is something that is very important to keep in mind. This man was a human being. He had friends and a family who loved him. He's Gizmo, a childhood name given to him due to his nascent ability as a mechanical whiz, even at the age of six. He's the boy at the library who was denied the right to check out books on basis of his race. Before that librarian had been corrected by the police, she had called on him. He's a man who thought he wasn't good enough for his dream, so settled, originally settled for a music major before his advisor pushed him to major in physics. He's the man who was robbed of two years of doctorate research and kept pushing forward without missing a beat. He's the man who was picked for NASA as one of 35 out of 10,000 applicants. He's a man who was a black belt, a phenomenal saxophone player, a father, and someone who faced struggle and pressure on an unprecedented level and succeeded. It's completely not fair that he had to face this level of struggle, but overall it is admirable all the same. He's a role model of mine and someone who encourages me to shoot to work for NASA ultimately. And I'm glad I got this opportunity to look into him and research this man who is very phenomenal, even though he is slightly obscure. Thank you.